on Friday, I gave a prophecy. I said we should pray for the leader of Biafra, Namdi, Namdi Kanu. I said we should pray for him, right? So we should keep praying for him. The prayer should be in two ways. Any plan that will make his people to make noise and that will kill him somewhere. They will never be able to find another person like Kanu. So their noise might cause him pain. They should not make that noise because God has something in stock for them. God has what? They should not make that noise. God has the plans for the Biafrans or the Innamdi himself. This is what the Spirit of God showed me. God showed me this revelation for the whole Igbo and Nigerians. And I've been giving this prophecy for long now. I told you how God said to me that he's going to use the Igbo people to rule this country. But the manner in which he's going to do it is the spirit that you have been seeing through the Biafrans. But not through the violent spirit. But through the taking it with wisdom. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So pray for Namdi Kanu that the noise of strange people, even people that does not look like the Igbo, are part of these people. So Biafran is not only Igbo. I hope you know that. I hope you know that. No. Igbos are 40%. The rest of the people are like 60%. Eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> As if he said that because of me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A vision God showed me concerning that if there will be a bloodshed, the plans of God through Biafrans will not be established anymore. God showed me in a vision where He's preparing. Groups of people to rule this country. And in this meeting, I saw one, two, three, four people. One person is the first, first ever ruling king. From any good state. Second one was the first ever ruling president from the Igbo side. The third was the first king from Ida Kogi state. The fourth one. was a man from Bida, the first ruling king from Bida. I saw four of them sitting on the throne. And they called this throne Biafran's throne. 
But what I was seeing around this throne was a flag of Nigeria. But inside this flag, I saw another flag. The battle of Biafran that you are seeing today was not a battle of individual. It's a battle of country. Group of people who wanted a change for Nigeria. Wanted a new name for Nigeria. It was not a coup. But it all begins from a coup. So just make that change. I told you how the Spirit of God showed me that the first document that contained the history of Biafran has been torn. Everything you are seeing is just fake. The original one is no more there. So to achieve the truth about Biafran, you need to go by the Spirit. So the Spirit of the Lord showed me that I should tell the Biafran instead of them to make noise and their leader someone that he has chosen to bring out a leader he's not going to be the one to become the president he could have been used to prepare what God showed me was so unique but with the youths and the people that I'm looking at, be patient to enjoy this. No. Now, this guy is in the place where that thing will take place now. Every secret from him will be unleashed. Every man of wisdom, man of truth will begin to listen to him from where he's sitting. In the closet where he's sitting. In the secret place where he's sitting. There, the truth of what they are looking for will be unveiled. Then, an evil man will be elected from among the people. Then, the Spirit of the Lord God Almighty, through the prayer, he has asked the Biafran to do, so that Nandi will be released at that particular time. God said, 12 days prayer should be made. From the group of Biafrans with their flag, that is carrying another flag with their flag that is carrying what 12 days prayer according to the numbers of the 12 tribe of Israel it will raise an altar that will bring this man out and not swallow him in the secret grave these people would withdraw all the wisdom then their Vaba Daria will make them to kill him without him not enjoying the wisdom he had put on the table. And God said, Exodus 33 should be used. This prayer should be made that noise that they are trying to trigger if this noise is being released towards the end of this month if this noise is released and anything happened to Unamdekanu those of you with gone will go for it, number one because God with all wisdom know how to manifest wisdom through wisdom the righteous is as bold as a lion sometimes God will put a spirit in the body of somebody to bring fear upon some people that is what is happening through Nandekanu after that fear has come upon Nigerian there's something new begin to happen and everything that is happening now were all arranged by God for Unamdi to be brought to where he is now. 
If your mistake take his life, you will never get what you are looking for. Because what you are looking for is not actually the will of God. The will of God is where he is now. The will of God will now. God show me how there will be new Nigerians. But on, on top of this new Nigeria, it's like this globe you're seeing now. It's white, it will get to another level, it will change to another color. New Nigeria, but with people that has already the idea and the plan of what Nigeria wants. These people are already outside, been turning outside. This is the reason why sometimes, you know God, with all this glory and wisdom, the Bible said the step of the righteous is ordered by God. No country will you go, you'll not find an evil man. You think it's just like that, they want to just go there. A spirit is already in them. Push them outside to go and learn. A day of reckoning is coming. They have been prepared, loaded by God. From the moment they began to say, be frank, God gave them a land, a space, environment, and God says, start planting and start building. But 60% of what they are still building is in Lagos. It's in another country. In the Biafran land, they said there is nothing. And this is what God is still waiting. Because God took me. The first place I landed was in between Enigu and Anambara and Onicha. And God began to show me an empty vast land from Enigu and he began to take me through the back of Anambara state and he took me and I, and, and I manipulated and meandered through I get to some mountains around Enigu where I begin to see a city that looks like South Africa but more beautiful than South Africa three times and I get to the place like Anambara where I began to see factory only factory as you are going like this it's factory and they call it business nations of Nigeria. But the name that I'm saying is further than Nigeria. But that name is hiding behind the flag of Biafrans. So Biafran is not the name of individual. It's a name that God has prepared for new Nigerians. But that flag is deep in the blood. Who can avail the darkness around that flag? If you want to avail it, get ready to die. God say these glorious things will happen only if these people draw close to him. With their lips, with their hearts. And God showed me a mystery. He said, do you remember the children of Israel? They have always been like this. This is the reason why I always send an angel to go with them. Because they are rebellious. So let them pray this prayer. I will still send an angel. But for my son to be killed, I send him. Now as I'm talking to you now, there are wisdom they are taking from him. That wisdom will like this. Whoop! would have brought out an evil man through the party called PDP. Then that evil man now is not going to be the one to lead. Why is leading? All the dreams of these people will now begin to manifest. But something will happen. Though. There will be a clear throne. There will be what? A clear throne. How that clear throne will happen, I don't want to say it. The man will come and begin to clear people. Not with ordinary. He will arrest even 60% of the evils that are in government. All the money will be taken away from them. You will give account. If it is not from the government, no, if it is from your salary, they will leave it. 
If it is not from your salary, you will give account. How will your salary be able to fetch you this and this in so so and so so time? Explain. I saw an evil man. But through the mystery that they are getting from Unam the Kanu now. After they have, look, it is your noise. The man has not finished his job. You are sending lawyer. You are sending this to withdraw him. Once, <laughs> hey, 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 if you don't give us, who we'll die. Come and die. The throne we are looking for, self, it need blood. Because without blood, nobody can sit there. This is what God has said to the Biafran. Everybody, come back to the camp for prayer. Twelve days. The man will come out on hot, but he has already prepared the ground for a new Nigerian. If you do anything, the blood of the innocent soul will cry for one million years. Because the blood of the innocent soul that you have killed are still crying. The blood of the Ojuku. And the first Atal Pigala. Hello? May the Lord have mercy upon this country. I said, may the Lord have mercy upon this country. Why they were busy doing that? Do you know that there are hoodlums? Demonic religious people somewhere that they are taking, they are taking the whole Abuja already. And the reason why they, are, they, they want to take the whole Abuja is because they want an Aosa man to continue to rule over the throne of this country. And it will be like if you are not a Muslim, you cannot enter some places like Abuja, like Kaduna, like Kanu. It will be like some of this country you are hearing story about. If that happened any moment from now. So there is no security in Abuja and Abuja is their target. That is where the ruling seat is. Because when they take over from there, they will be able to make announcement that will take over the remaining country. So, Mr. President, I don't know what to say. Either to bring you into this or to take you out of this. Why should a president retire just like that and go home? Maka, why? If not, Maka, something. I keep saying this so. I keep saying this so. Huh. Abuja! No security. All this one, they are about Tinibu, they are doing, they are just making noise. <laughs> the people who won't take country, they don't prepare themselves. They have enough gun, enough bomb, enough anything. They are taking over states, all states of Nigeria. So that as soon as they take over Abuja, you see Suya boys with small knife. As you want buy uh, Suya boys with small knife. Say, so you like chops and Suya. Suya, Suya, Suya. Aboki, give me test. <laughs> Aboki, give me test. Now your hand, they go cut them. <laughs> Put them for pepper, they say test. Aboki, give me a test. Say by the blood of Jesus. Every gathering of wickedness to take over this country, to bring shame upon this country, all laws scatter them. 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 The voice of Nnamdi Kanu could have helped. And that is the reason why we that knows how God speaks. When I'm telling you, there's nothing like the one you are seeing. Nothing. What God is planning is different. So rise up on your feet. I say, I say, I
Lord, I wanna say to you, Lord. I say, I say, Papa. Lord, I wanna say to you, Lord. 